Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera. First of all, I would like to say thank you for watching the video. This is a tutorial on how can we actually use this one software called PDF Exchange Editor which is very useful for any of us who actually dealing with documentation yeah especially the one that we have to deal is in the any kind of format especially uh, in the pdf format so uh, as we know that for the pdf format many people uh, have this kind of uh, understanding that uh, it's very difficult to change okay uh, whatever content inside pdf that we have okay or it's very difficult to edit to add or any documentation okay or any other additional page into the uh, pdf document that we have it's very easy if you would like to add if you would like to delete if we would like to edit any kind of a content inside the pdf by using this one software called pdf exchange editor that i'm going to show everyone in a short while okay why this tutor tutorial actually is uh, very useful is simply because of what the condition that we have currently we have this uh, new normal of life where we have to deal with documentation with what we call this uh, soft copy and then uh, we are not going to able to do this uh, uh, things with the physical documentation anymore so therefore i think or we think that this tutorial of this particular software is going to be very useful for everyone now without any further delay uh, we are going to i'm going to show one example here okay this is an example of a documentation that we are going to uh, do some editing or some uh, changes into this particular document take example that i have this one uh, pdf document here that we are going to use right i'm going to uh, open this pdf okay and then just an example actually that i have currently what can be done by this uh, pdf yeah it can edit any kind of words inside this uh, document take an example that maybe there's something that we would like to change here okay like this table of content right to change it is very easy just go to edit button here okay and then we can change which one we want maybe we just want to change the text we want to change images or shapes yeah or we just would like to change everything now take an example we would like to change text on this so we just click text there and then this software will automatically detect the text that uh, available inside the document I can take example of this one I just have to double click it and I can just change to any words that I want yeah okay so easy yeah, no problem at all so that's why it's very easy now there's another way that I would like to delete some of the slides here okay maybe I don't like the slides on the first one example only so I just click and I just going to press the button delete yeah that's all so I'm deleting it I deleted the things yeah so I don't have the first page anymore yeah so if I want to delete as many as I can so I just uh click control here okay and then i choose as many as document that i want or oh, if i don't want to do that also i can just drag here and highlight the document i mean the pages that i would like to delete okay let's say i want to delete until page number five here and i just press the button delete and that's all okay i don't have already all those documentation just now because i deleted all of them yeah if I want to delete this one also, okay, and then I can delete. I take an example, I want to delete all this table of content. So delete and there is no more. And as you can notice, the number of the pages already changed also. Yeah, something like that. So as simple as that. So if you would like to undo everything, just control and press Z and everything will be back to the normal okay as simple as that there is another function that i'm going to show everyone on this pdf exchange later but before that uh, let me go into my file just now
right this one okay i have this another file here which i'm going to make some additional changes into this documentation but this document here as we can see is in the word uh, format so let me double click this and i open it so let, uh, everyone can see that i have this document here in front of me in the word format so okay as we know that yes in the word format is very easy to uh, i mean to edit everything but i will show and i will prove to everyone that using the pdf exchanger is everything editing is going to be more easier than this yeah so uh like everybody knows already we're just going to change this document into pdf save as over there okay put into the file okay change it into pdf here and then we save it okay this one we can just delete okay. let's delete this words file here and then i have it already in the pdf okay if i want to open this i can just double click in and then okay this one is the first documentation okay and this one right is the second one which i opened just now both of them are in the pdf format All right but the good thing about this one is text example yeah i would like to put the additional documentation into this pdf file how can i do that it's very easy let's say i just choose yeah we maybe i want to put the documentation just now into the page yeah the page the second page here okay i want to put it between the page number one and the page number two so how can i do that easy i just go to add here sorry i just go to organize here and then i go to insert here right and then i go to insert pages right and this time i will go and find my documentation okay it's located here example i would like to put it here okay between these two uh, pages here page number one and page number two and then i just double click and then i'm going to determine okay location is after after what after page number one which is this one and i click ok and we can see that actually the page yeah is beautifully added into this uh, pdf uh, file yeah as you can see here as simple as that if i don't like it if i don't want this one i just click it and then just click the delete button and it's gone as simple as that now let's go to the example here right okay then we know already that everything here can be changed yeah we just go again if you want to change something you want to add something okay just go to the edit here button okay and then double click here and you can change yeah you can change everything you can add everything it's up to our preference now uh, I want to add another words inside okay how can I do that it's very simple I just go to add button here okay click the add text if I want to add the text and then I just go anywhere where I want to put this new text maybe I want to put it here All right okay and this one I want to rename it into maybe uh, remarks yeah or that okay how about that remarks okay maybe it's too big and we adjust the position and as simple as that i have the new words into my pdf document right now uh how can i actually make something else here all right so take an example that this is a checkbox yeah so checkbox definitely need a check mark so it's very easy you can use either this arrow here okay just click it one time and then the properties for the arrow will be here all right okay just make sure that the line endings okay on the start of that particular the start of that particular arrow yeah is going to be none okay because we don't want it to be like look like open arrow or something like this yeah okay we just going to choose none here and the end also is none and what we need to do then we just tick one time here just like that okay so now in order to okay we can just do it again and again okay as many as we want the problem there is going to be like this it's not going to be the same okay for each of the arrow yeah so if you like it to be like this no problem you can do like this one but my suggestion is okay what we need to do we just make one arrow and after that let's select text here and then click the arrow one time 
we control C okay to copy it and then we control V as many as we can yeah just keep push that control V now we have many arrow already uh, produced because of the control V function just now yeah which I pasted I copy and I pasted at the same place but with that function now I can just move this around yeah to fill up all the checkbox that available and you can see that it's beautifully done because I have the same length and the same direction of the arrow yeah, very easy well, however okay I have additional function here if I go to the stamp yeah and I click the stamp here then I have this what I call another okay check marks yeah okay I have so many check marks here that I can choose yeah I have this standard stamp maybe I'm going to take this one I just click and then I drag it okay or I double click here okay and I put it here okay and I can adjust the I just go home click text okay now I can adjust the size of this tick or this check yes just like that and same also I copy and I paste it yeah and then this time I just drag around one by one yeah and I have everything filled up for the checkbox okay as simple as that now just another uh, function of this PDF exchange editor which is okay the signature right so so many people keep asking actually how can we make a, a digital signature yeah so uh, allow me to show everyone how to do a digital signature using this uh, PDF exchange editor okay first thing first what we need to do is uh, to make sure that we have the picture of our signature just take a simple picture let me show the signature of uh, my own which I took it before okay so this is the picture of my signature yeah it's very dull it's very simple okay it's not even at the uh, vertical uh, position yeah it's at the horizontal position yeah so I don't care actually no problem at all because this all this can be adjusted uh, later using the PDF exchange editor okay now what I'm going to do okay once I have the picture of my signature or with my name if I want okay and then I just delete this one first okay I will go to this what we call uh, Google browser and I'm going to find this website called BG remover yeah this is it BG remover BG stands for background I'm I will directly go to the upload image here okay and then it directly asks me to upload image so as simple as I'm going to just drag and drop my signature into this website I have my signature here I just click and I drop it here okay let's wait for it it's removed yes now my, the background of my picture just now of my signature has been removed so I just going to download it here and then I have it here okay I'm going to do I will open the folder where it's located and I will put it into my folder which I remember or which is easy to for me to find later yeah and now so once the picture or the image uh, background has been removed okay the format will be changed into PNG just like this one yeah this is what we call PNG okay with this format now we will able to do something already okay let's do it together right okay now I would like to put my signature uh, exactly at this spot here so uh, what I should do I just go to the add and then I go to add image yeah just now if you want to add the text you just click the add the text here and make the box but this time also I would like to add image the same process I just click the add image here make another box here where I want to put the signature and I go to the PNG here yeah? 
this format of my signature just now after we remove the background i double click okay and then okay i just going to click as a stamp and then i place it here okay so it's placed there right okay the problem there actually is not in the right position so i just click the select text here and then click here and this time i will able to correct the position okay and then i put it here not only that i can actually also adjust the size yeah just to make it like a real one okay so take an example that maybe you don't like the thickness of this uh signature right so the simple way the same method when we try to copy and paste this arrow just now simple also just click it and this time you control c which you copy and then you control v or you paste it yeah several times can you see now it become thicker okay as simple as that nothing can change it anymore just leave it there right and sorry next one uh, if we would like to uh, make another signature the same way also we just go to add an image and then we put the box another one here and do the same process again okay now um another one that i would like to put my signature and my stamp okay on the documentation easy simple huh? okay same way also now in this file here i have my uh, stamp and signature picture okay what i'm going to do the same way I will go to the website just now okay the uh, BG remover and I'm going to take this stamp and signature picture of mine and then drag it here I release I'm waiting for the website to remove the background now it already removed my background I just going to download this yeah, PNG file and this time open the folder and then put it into the folder that I remember okay and this time let me take this one let me take out that one and then same also what I'm going to do just go to this button add button and then add image again and make a box here and this time I will choose this one stem and signature remove here okay the png file which we did already on the website and then i double clicked okay this is it and i place it okay this time also i want to change or adjust the size let me select text select the signature and let's change the size and then move it around and put it at the position that we want right and that's it guys yeah as simple as that i able to put my signature inside and as everyone can see that it looks very original it looks real okay and then it doesn't look like uh, something that we copy and paste at all yeah so that's why it's very good that's how we actually put something or signature onto the documentation like especially the pdf one so it means that okay the pdf actually as long as we have the software the right software is going to be very easy in order to edit a pdf document and also for another function of this uh, pdf uh, exchange editor that we can convert any documentation maybe it's easy to convert document from word uh, format into pdf but it's very difficult for us to change pdf to words format so with this particular uh, software it's as simple as a click okay so let's say we want to change this one into uh, words then we just going to click this right change it to the microsoft office word click it and then maybe we want to put it here okay let's put it here sample change yeah so we know which document is that and then we save it okay and see right now it's in the words format and all the format actually is there it doesn't change anything there yeah it's as original as the pdf documentation just now yeah it's very beautifully changed right and then 
also you can change it into excel change it into powerpoint okay change again we can export it and make it into image if we would like to right and then good thing about this actually a pdf exchange editor because it has this one function called ocr let's say we have this one documentation okay and, okay, and then we scan the document okay using the uh, scanner okay or scan machine and then after that um, we have uh, the file in the soft copy which we put into usb or something like that and then after that uh, this particular pdf file most of the time okay it's very uh, difficult for us to change the content inside it because it's not the document that uh, we change from microsoft uh, office words into pdf which i did just now and it's very easy to change in terms of the words and everything right okay but if it's uh, something that we scan from a machine okay and then it's going to be difficult to change okay stop the content but to add content like what i did just now it's still uh, no problem at all what i mean is it's difficult to change it here okay to change the words and everything because the uh, scanner machine normally cannot detect the words inside but with this function here we call OCR and then once we have that particular documentation that we scan just now just put it or open it using the PDF exchange editor and then click OCR page here option that document uh, content which is the words and then the alphabets and everything can be detected and then can be changed already yeah should be no problem at all so this is the function of the ocr just now there are so many other function here that, okay i really recommend everyone to explore all the function that we have here then it has the rotate crop resize we can put our water our watermarks there yeah? and then we can create a form using this uh uh, software we can protect it with the, our signature with our password and everything okay put comments and everything okay and how we want to view it and also this is where we actually put everything just now i hope this video is going to be very useful for everyone especially during this uh, new norm of light that we have currently where everything all documentation preferably uh, to be uh, exchanged in terms of a, a soft copy yeah so with this uh, particular kind of a software it will make our job easier thank you